if, if you did Kismet, yeah. did you do the Ababu dance of Nineveh? No, that was the Ababus. There were three women. Okay, and they did there were two guys in there. Right. Two men were in it, but they didn't do the Ababus. They, oh, were, they were part of the group. Did you want to do one of those two men? Yeah, I was Akbar, and the other was Ronald Fiedler. And I feel that that's one of the hardest lines I've like ever seen in my life. And I would just like to know, was it easy going for Graham? Because she takes from so many different people. Well, Jack Cole that's why I was hired, because I'd been a Graham dancer. Mm -hmm. Jack Cole, who admired Martha, thought that, well, there were no, no Jack Cole dancers in New York. And so they thought, well, a Graham dancer could learn it. And I was asked to come down. I figured I was going to audition, but no, I was hired. So they said, don't worry, we'll teach you because we have six weeks notice and it's four weeks for you to go in. The first rehearsal, which was, I guess, two hours, all I learned were the first eight counts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do it now, but I can show you. It was simply, you sidestep, you started like that, and you went one, two. And the upper part of the body went one and two. And the hands went one and two. And that's oh. almost it. And that's all it was. It was all coordination, and I, years later, learned he based it on Bharatanatyam, which I saw done in India, and it wasn't technically better in India than what Beatrice Kraft yeah. and Jack Cole were doing. His faux Bharatanatyam was incredible, and I think he's one of the maybe two or three geniuses I ever I think we yeah. all yeah. agree with that. Yeah. So. Oh, Jack Cole. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pure dance and screw Oh, well, that. Well, he, yeah, and then the pure dancers object to all that. Even yeah, though he was brilliant in what he did. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure, I do. Uh, yeah. I suppose a Bharata Nacham dancer might look at it and not like it. It was never pure, what Jack did. But he took it from the pure level and made it a very commercial thing and made money on it. Well, he mixed uh, uh, Bharata Nacham, Indian technique, in with African rhythm, yeah. basically. That's yeah. what he did. I love that. Kava was just. Love oh, while while we're on that subject, then we should wrap up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you read a, something you wrote, or would you rather I read it? You read it. I hope I can do it justice. As a, this is from his book, A Map of Making Dances, uh, here. Hey, that one I've got. I bought all of my. And this is uh, <laughs> so we're quoting. As a dancer who, who has worked with many choreographers, I was always aware that many approaches could generate exciting dances. As a choreographer, I was always drawn to the astonishing variety of creative processes and to the visions that generated them, eventually to realize they constituted a rich ecology and a creative landscape. And just as the ecology of nature needs variety to be healthy, the same is true for the ecology of dance. Mm. I think you're terrific. <laughs>